everybody, Jesse here for 3 Prong Gaming, and in today's bonus video, uh, I just wanted to kind of give you an art, an AI teaser, kind of show you where I was at a little bit, uh, uh, see what to look forward to as we progress here. This is my main project, and uh, it's not fully up to date. I've been working on it. Um, I've got a couple versions of this main product. Usually during the week, I work on this project during my free time at work, like during my lunches and breaks. And on the weekends at home, I'll uh, move from my computer to my home computer. And, but yeah, so we're in the middle of the week, so I don't have the most current up-to-date version, but my AI should be completely and totally up-to-date. So for the most part, anyways, I'm at least functional enough to teach you guys with it. Now, here's the behavior tree, All right? We got this and we got quite a bit going on here for the little bit of work that it really does. But uh, what it does is, is pretty cool. So. Almost everything you see in here, all the decorators and tasks and uh, uh, services here, they're all custom made. They're all custom functions and events. And, and so there's a lot to go on here. And on top of these are extra functions and that are set on the uh, AI controller and the AI uh, character. So there's a lot going on, a lot involved. I just kind of wanted to briefly show you guys. I'm not going to explain all this yet. This is uh, all coming up here pretty soon. Um, but I just want to kind of give you guys just a brief overview of what it looked like to this point. Now, ultimately, we got uh, set up to where uh, you can't work. The AI won't work unless it has a home. Once it has a home, it'll look for a job. If there's no job, he'll be unemployed. If he, if there is a job, which at this point is just construction worker, then he'll do his job. He'll go and, and go to the office. He'll look for a task. And if there's no task right at this point, he just sits at the building and uh, waits for something to come popping up. If there is a task, then it'll assign all the workers. So let's go ahead and show you what is going on here on the map. Like I said, this isn't totally current. Um, I've been working on the uh, menu a little bit system right here. So it'll show you who all the tenants are and you've got buttons and you can click on the button and, and go to it. I was hoping to have this done. Actually, it is done. It's on my work computer. I just didn't uh, copy it and bring it to my home computer because I do all my recording at home. And uh, yeah, so it's not totally up to date, but I do have those features in and you can select the character because I'm at the point now I'm going to start um, enabling like... Uh, uh, resident or you know the the person's happiness you know their hunger and i'm gonna start adding in all those features now so they'll realize when they're hungry and they'll go to a restaurant and get some food when they're tired they'll go home and get some sleep and you know things like that so that's what i'm going to be working on next so right now this is my apartment and this is just a, a cut some custom meshes i made um, they're just temporary meshes i wanted something a little bit different uh, for doing all my normal stuff. But yeah, I just made these, not a big deal. And the apartment, and this is a construction office. So uh, they're spawned into the world when we start the game in automatically. So we push uh, the V key to drop the guys in. One, two, three, four, right? We'll just drop four for now. Right now I only have a max occupancy for this small apartment to be um, four, uh, eight. So game speed like I said the players move based off of the game speed so now they found a place to live now they found a place to work so now they're heading to the construction office but now they're just gonna sit here in the construction office and you're gonna see them kind of twitching right here a little bit I fixed this bug last night it just kind of popped up when I was doing some stuff and, and uh, actually I, I missed a little bit but that's that's a slight glitch not a problem I fixed that um, but now they're just gonna sit there and wait for work so let's go ahead and drop in another construction office real quick they're going to notice, hey, we dropped it, so let's go to work. And they're going to pick a random time so they don't all move quite at the exact same time. And they're going to go work on that. So let's just speed this up. They're going to hurry up and do that. So now we're built. Okay. Let's go ahead and drop in four more guys here. One, two, three, four. So now max occupancy for the apartments it should be met. And uh, they're going to find a job here. And they're going to come over here and take this. Right. Let me go ahead and speed this up so they get to their workplace. All right. So the other thing I did here was if we went and dropped in a mesh, say right here, what's going to happen is it's going to notice which building is closer and it's going to assign the task to that particular building. So, but now that these guys are busy, even if I place this one close to there, these guys are going to get assigned because these guys are busy. So, uh, go ahead and speed this up. And 
and even when they're busy, they'll uh, continually check and set up their stuff. All right, so we got that. Let's go ahead and speed these guys up a little bit. See, so they're gonna go to work, pick this, and now what's gonna happen is since the apartment is full and they need a place to live before they go to a place to work, let's set this up. Let's get another construction office in here. We can go work on that, set that. So now this needs employees, but they need a place to live before they have a place to work. So let's go ahead and push V and he's gonna go, hey, I don't have a place to live. Let's watch him. He's gonna randomly find a spot within a certain location. I think I got it set to about 2000 units, which is about uh, what, 20 meters within a 20 meter range. He's gonna find a random spot that he's gonna go to it and he's gonna try to make a house. Just like in Tropico where they place the shack if they ain't got no place to live. And if he can't do it, which I bet you he's gonna get to a spot and not be able to do it right here. Oh, nope, he's getting past there. So he should be able to place it. Let's, uh, there we go. And now he's got a home. Now he's gonna go find a job. Sweet. So let's do that uh, three more times. One, two, three. Because this takes four jobs. Now that's gonna go find a place. He's gonna go build a little shack. And he's gonna go build a little shack. So let's just speed this up to where they find it. He built a shack, he built a shack, he built a shack. Now they should all just head straight to work. Perfect. Now what happens if there is no more work, if you have no more construction, right? So let's, let's go ahead and drop in another guy here. We'll watch him for a minute. Watch him go build his shack. So now what he's gonna do, he's just gonna go walk around your uh, your map. He's not gonna do anything until there's a job. So let's just go ahead and build another construction office so we can see this. These guys are gonna come work on this construction office. And then as soon as it's built, he goes, hey, all right, I've got a job. Now he's gonna go there. And now this can actually be assigned Go ahead and get him to the construction office. He's going to be assigned that task before anybody else because he's closer. Right? And I've also got it set up to where uh, if the employee is not at the building, if it has no employees yet, like if we just build it and there's no employees, it won't automatically assign this building anything until an employee actually reports for duty. Sweet. So that's that's pretty much it at this point. It's it's pretty involved just to do this, but I think it's pretty cool. I've been working pretty hard on this, and uh, yeah, it was it was uh, definitely challenging to get to this point. But I think now that I plowed through it and I got it done, that uh, yeah, it's it's all pretty much downhill from here. I think. I mean, there's still going to take a lot of work, but you know, AI is AI is not a, an easy thing to deal with and and uh, and to learn and and. I may not have it perfect. I'm sure when we start diving into it and I show it to you guys, uh, somebody's gonna who knows more than I, which uh, that is most likely possible. Most of you probably know more about it than I do. Um, are gonna say, hey, you're doing that wrong. But you know what? As you can see here, it's functional. It works. It's pretty awesome. They pick random locations and and they go to work and and uh, yeah. So. That is great. I'm super happy, super stoked. Like I said, I've been working on the menu system. Um, this is better in my updated one. It actually shows who the residents of the building are, the workers, if it's a like the construction office or the, the tenants in the apartment complex. And uh, and then you click it and you can select and it'll follow the, the cameras you can see here. Close this out. How we zoom, how we interpolate from there. It's not just a quick snap to the building. We, the camera slowly moves to that building, centers it up. I can't do anything. I can't move around the world. I can't click any of these buttons right at this point because we're in this HUD. So we got to close out the HUD. So now we have full control of our stuff. And then you click the player and it will, if the player is walking around the, the uh, world, it's just going to follow them around while you have the HUD open. You close the HUD and it releases control and you no longer follow that player around. So that what that'll do is when we select this to go to the player, see how it's showing me the number up top there. Um, but this will be the player name. We select that and it'll zip to wherever he is in the world. And uh, yeah, I don't want to go into too much of this. I hate uh, trying to explain it to you guys. I'd rather just show you. And I, I was hoping to upload my game to my home computer last night, but that didn't happen. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this enjoyed this teaser. And uh, it's just a middle of the week teaser. And, and uh, the AI is coming. And now you know what to look forward to. So until the next video, uh, remember, go ahead and hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe, and until next time, peace.